friends upsc mains is 8 days away so in these last 8 days the most important thing that you have to do is answer writing practice you should be ready to answer 20 questions in 3 hours and some of the students uh, in their graduation may be good at answer writing for them it may be easy but for some students writing 20 questions in 3 hours is like a difficult task even in the test series that you write what i observed is some of the students do not like to sit for 3 hours and write 20 questions they feel that in the actual mains examination we can do that as this is only test series let us just try to learn how to write answers and after every half an hour one hour they take a break some people write the exam for 4 hours some people write half of the exam today and half of the exam tomorrow so my advice is writing a best answer is not the criteria here the criteria is writing above average answers for all 20 questions or at least 18 questions in 3 hours that is the game that you have to play in upsc mains examination so you have to sincerely sit for 3 hours try to write as many questions as you can during test series however some students really face a problem in this though they sit for 3 hours they will not be able to write more than 10 or 11 questions and i personally observed these kind of students in the last few years some of them are able to improve their speed very well and able to get very good ranks in upsc today my idea is to address those students who are unable to finish 20 questions in 3 hours due to whatever reasons friends first thing i would like to tell is those 3 hours though you write 10 questions 12 15 whatever just enjoy those 3 hours enjoy the process of writing answers once you do not enjoy it once you feel the pressure that you are unable to finish the paper in the during test series then there are high chances that you may give up the test series some students i have seen do not write all the exams of test series because they feel their pressure that they are unable to finish the exam but my suggestion is enjoy those 3 hours write as many questions as you can don't think of finishing the paper right from the first exam try to write as many questions as you can then try to understand why you are unable to finish the paper and the sincere thing is do not take breaks because yesterday also yesterday also i saw some students taking break after every half an hour because they could not actually handle 3 hours okay now friends if you are unable to write 20 questions if you are able to write only 11 12 questions and if you think increasing from 11 questions to 20 questions if you think it is only a matter of speed you are wrong don't think that for example if you are able to write 10 questions in 3 hours some of you may think that you have to double the speed double the speed of answer writing to write 20 questions that is absolutely wrong speed may be a small factor but not the major factor there are many other ways in which you can actually increase the number of answers you write in 3 hours so what are those things so here i identified a few factors some seven factors i identified which are observed in most of the students today i'm going to address those those seven things if you can correct or adapt these seven things definitely you will be able to write 18 to 20 questions in 3 hours friends the first thing is many students want to write a long introduction and a very long conclusion why because the question is specific definitely they will write specific information for the question but along with the specific information they want to tell the evaluator that they know more about that uh, issue for example the issue is about let us say sustainable development goals and where is india in that the question is about what is presently what is the stage at, at which india is in sdgs let us say they want to write more about sdgs because they have learned a lot about sdgs they cannot control so they want to expand and elaborate very clearly on what are sdgs and then they'll come to india in the conclusion also they want to give so many suggestions to india so this introduction this conclusion will not really carry so many marks maybe one one and a half mark will be there for them so shorten the introduction shorten the conclusion try to have the emotional stability emotion in the sense some people want to write everything that they want introduction conclusion try to control that try to write only few lines of introduction conclusion that automatically reduces the time of every answer this is the first biggest mistake i observed in most of the candidates friends the second mistake is for example some people if they want to write some four five points every point they have they will write for five to six lines because they personally feel that you have to elaborate the point explain the point very clearly only then evaluator will give the marks friends nothing like this 
you should try to express that idea that point within two to three lines a maximum four lines you can do that as you practice more and more answers you will be able to write that point concisely crisply exact expression with very few lines and that is a skill that you have to learn you have to reduce the size of each point you should know how to end a point quickly move on to the next point that you can learn only when you write more and more exams also friend this is something i observed particularly in the people in the first attempt in first attempt what happens is after seeing every question in the mains they will take some time to generate their points brainstorming then they will start writing the answer in the generation of points in the brainstorming they will spend more time you have to reduce that time once you look at a question you have to take maximum 5 to 10 seconds and start the answer but how can you do that one uh, one suggestion is every day take some 10 questions do not write the answers just brainstorm sit with your friends take some 5 10 questions take every question all of you discuss the points the next question brainstorm as you brainstorm like this every day for few days automatically your speed of brainstorming will increase when you look at a question points will come naturally to you so do all the brainstorming before the exam but during the exam do not spend much time on brainstorming 5 10 seconds for example if you, if you got only 3 points start writing those 3 points when you are writing those 3 points you, you will again remember some 3 or 4 extra points you add those points go in that way don't try to clearly frame all the points and then you want to start answer definitely will take more time so this mistake do not do if you want to finish 20 questions in 3 hours then friends see generally most of us think that if it is 10 marks question we have to write almost two pages 15 marks question you want to write almost three pages you feel that you have to somehow write something uh, for every question but that's not uh, that's not how you are given marks the evaluator will not really look for how many pages you wrote for example some questions may not have much points for example every year if you see 20 questions in the mains some six or seven questions the questions are very specific you no need to write much about that even they are expecting some five to six points only within one page you can finish the answer for those kind of questions don't unnecessarily try to write unnecessary points to fill the pages for questions which require four or five points write one page for questions which require more points write two pages so go in go in that way go based on the demand of the question don't write write two pages for every question if you can cultivate this habit definitely can finish all 20 questions within three hours because it is a myth some of the candidates may, might have told you that if you fill all the pages for example they give almost like for 10 10 marks they give 20 pages for uh, 10 15 marks they give almost 30 pages so they give almost 50 pages so some students want to fill, fill all 50 pages do not do that you know need to fill 50 pages to get very good score that is a myth in fact because for example last year also our students who got in top 100 some of them have written only one page for some questions one and a half page some questions two pages for some questions still they got uh, rank in top 100 still they got 110 to 120 marks in general studies papers so that is a myth do not follow that then friends coming to diagram i am observing these days many tutors teachers or even some of the mentors are also asking the students to draw too many diagrams to get more marks that is wrong actually there are many toppers in the top 10 ranks who did not draw a single diagram in their answer sheet see upsc will look for the points have you written the right points or not of course diagrams may add value but very few questions some questions by drawing diagram you can represent something more than what you can write in the lines for example drawing a map for very few questions drawing some kind of flow chart you can do but trying to draw flow chart for everything for example some students what they do is they write an answer same points again they'll draw in the map draw in the flow chart for example these days i'm seeing in youtube also uh, they say that for example if the question is about women empowerment they'll write uh, women uh, security one arrow then employment for women one arrow uh, financial independence on arrow social empowerment they'll put arrows and they'll try as if you write like if you write like this you'll get very good marks nothing like that friend just because you have drawn arrows like a beautiful tree diagram does not mean you'll get more marks nobody no evaluator bother about those kind of things believe me you can even write plain answer you can sometimes you can draw flow charts to break the monotony or to make it easy for evaluator but if your idea is to draw diagrams to get more marks you are unnecessarily going into a wrong mindset do not do that okay so don't draw any diagram which is a repetition of the answer only draw diagrams which will convey something more than what you wrote in the answer so if you follow this method also your time will come down you can easily finish 20 questions or 18 questions in three hours friends 
the last point i want to tell you is just like how i told you some five to six points you develop your own methods everybody is different if you are unable to finish 20 questions you have some unique problem maybe you are taking much for brainstorming or maybe some people for conclusion they will stop and think what conclusion they are right do not do that if you have the problem, you drop the conclusion, it's okay, still it's okay, if you're unable to think. Just finish the paper. Finishing the paper is very important. You have to answer at least 17 to 18 questions. You have to answer at least 17 to 18 questions out of 20 if you want to be in the list. According to me, some one or two questions you may not even know. You can Either you can leave those questions or you can write some half page. Half page answer briefly about what whatever you know about that question. In that way, friends, you can definitely write all the questions in three hours all the best take test series seriously and write more exams every exam you should feel like a real exam all the best